Today is junkyard day. That's right. We're going to take the OBS. We're going to go pick up some parts. We got lots of other stuff going on in the driveway here. Um, that truck got to pull the interior out still yet. Um, Blazer's right there. Just got it aligned. Spark's still here, but a new windshield put in. We just bought a Mini Cooper as a rebuild. Uh, we'll maybe talk about that someday or probably just avoid it completely. Whistling diesel truck's still in the garage, but we are going to pick up parts for it. Um, specifically a bed. I think we found a good bed on uh, rust free might have a few dings here and there but um, should be a good option for this once we get paint and everything done on it um yeah so that cab's for if you haven't been following along that cab is also going to go on the duramax in the garage and so we're gonna hop in the old frame puller here get on the road and go find some parts and with that i don't know exactly how far we're gonna get into everything here today once we go to the junkyard up to our buddy joe's um we are going to come back down here and hopefully maybe we'll even get into tearing the front end off of the old Whistling diesel truck, but I, that's still to be determined here. And while we're at it, we might as well just get a cold start up here. It's mostly cold. I just pulled it from right up there to down here. So it was started, but let's see what she sounds like. See if she was going to make it. there but she definitely still has some sort of miss something she's just not not running a hundred percent i'm not sure what the deal is i don't even know i don't have a check engine light um well the light might be burned out <laughs> who knows but uh i mean it, it's reliable it's not like it'll break down but it just has a miss that we can't figure out and i don't know probably just gonna put the duramax in her and then fix it that way hopefully you'll be able to hear it here but here it's missing yeah So it's missing like crazy, and then it's gonna clear up here as soon as I get on it a little bit. And it still didn't fully clear out, but I'm not sure. All right, here we are at Joe's Auto Parts. There's all the cabs we looked at before and then ended up buying a truck, but still a bunch there if you guys need any. I'll have the, all of their just, uh, info in the description below. Let's go, uh, let's go find this bed. They were on it like ready to go, man. They were. Pretty much picking up the bed ready for me anyways. I think that's our old Cadillac SRX. Of all the crazy things in the world. I'm pretty sure that's it. I never had it on the channel, but we used to, I'm pretty sure that car we used to have. real good on it so we got the bed loaded up outside we'll go back out to that in a second here but we just just came inside to see a truck that had the cab smashed uh bed smashed <laughs> and frame bent right is that right okay um so kind of the same deal as what we're doing other than frames not bent but look at this beautiful blue paint job i uh think we might have to do that to the old whistling diesel truck so yeah this is this guy is sharp all right, out here checking out this bed, and you can see it is like a little bit of a little bit of surface rust there, but otherwise, pretty much good to go. I thought it had, had a little ding on the one side, but I don't think it does. I think I was just I was remembering wrong. Maybe that's this is pinched a little bit right there, but uh, a little that paint's just chipped off there. But otherwise, this thing's gonna work really, really good. And now we're going on an interior search. No, I'm not keeping the Regency interior from the truck. Um, just too too ridiculous to get that all restitched and done. And I don't think I'm ever going to find an actual, you know, interior. Now this guy here, I think, was one that might work. Yeah. These look pretty nice. No matter what, I'm going to have to get that restitched. Actually, that one's been restitched. I don't think that's, that's not a factory panel. Um... Yeah, this should work. I wanted to see the back seat here, but I kind of can't. 
Yeah, back seat's a little rough. Uh, I'm gonna look just a little bit more, but this one will work. And I think I said it already, but if you have a Chevy that you need a cab or really just about any parts for, definitely hit up Joe's. They will, uh, they, they have a lot of stuff here. You can see. And they do have a bunch of other stuff here that is not just uh, Chevy truck related. But uh, yeah, if you need anything, link down below. As I was walking out, they were nice enough to throw me a hoodie. So thank you guys so much for that. Well, we made it back home safe and sound with our new basically perfect rust-free bed. Just a few little things here or there like I showed you. Yeah, that's the guy I was thinking about. See, it's got just a little bit of character on that. But otherwise, this thing is like awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better bed. Um, the rebuild truck, we are, I've had some people ask me about this recently. It will be still be going up for sale. Um, we are just waiting on paint. Um, oh, we, our paint guy has a bunch of other stuff going on. So, uh, it'll be, it'll be done, you know, before too long. And we got some extra time, so let's head into the garage and uh, pull off the front of the Whistling Diesel truck. So the goal is basically just to get front fenders, grill, headlights, all that stuff off on either side. Um, yeah, the uh, the front diff kind of leaked stuff all over the ground, and then well, it caused a big mess. Uh, and that's tranny fluid, which we we do know we need to fix. It's just the it's just the linkage uh, where it goes into the transmission. We actually have the seal already, but still needs to be replaced. And uh, so that's a big mess. And I'm out of oil dry at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to put a piece of cardboard or something down. Uh, tomorrow's video, we are gonna try to pull the interior out of that cab out there so that it is like 100% ready to be loaded up for paint. And uh, I might try to clean out this bay as well and put you know and push it inside here. So uh, I think that's I think that might be tomorrow's episode. But for now, let's get to going on this. All right. If you were ever to ask me what's the best headlight design in all of you know like automotive history, it's got to be this body style trucks, uh, GM trucks, because there's either one depending on the year. There's either one or two pins that hold the whole thing in, and then they come out just like that. In the pile. And then your bottom lights, just press in on that clip right there, and they come out. Best light design ever. This light is actually broken, so we'll have to get a new, probably, I mean, it's gonna be a whole new set. This one's actually okay I think maybe a little bit maybe a little bent up top but uh yeah this one's the, actually the only broken one I think both fog lights are good so those we won't have to get any of um whoo all right if you put the cardboard on the gear oil it's very very slippery just as a, so everybody at home knows somebody could help me this is a separate piece like this piece that goes over the grill is a separate piece from the rest of the grill it's broken off of this one. You can see it clips into right here and then just slides back inside the grill here. If someone could find me or know where to get just that piece, because it seems like you got to buy the whole grill, but I would be like better just to reuse the whole grill if I can. Um, so I don't know. If somebody knows where to get this piece. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, and then these are just this 10 millimeter bolt and everything else is just push pins, so just gotta get that guy. Well, another thing. Um, this is obviously an aftermarket grill. Um, I kind of like this grill, but a lot of people in the comments did not like it. Some did, some didn't. I don't know. But uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, probably going to keep it or at least a similar style, but it's actually in pretty decent shape. Just do a little bit of, little bit of paint and finish stuff coming up there. But And look underneath here. We got some fancy lights underneath here. I don't know that these work, actually. Um, not like a huge fan of lights, but let's see here and see if see if those turn on. The rock lights are over here. Or no. Yeah, the rock lights are there, I think. I think that's rock lights. On up front? Yeah, okay. I don't think they would have been on with the 
Yeah, see, not on there. Right. Unless there's like a remote or something, because it could be one of those guys. It's just a ground. Oh. Well, yeah, that explains why they're not working. All right, so next up, then, we're going to pull off the bumper. Uh, got the 215s on either side here, and then it should just come right off, and the wires for the old fog lights down there. This is the one going from the front uh, light bar. Just comes apart right there, which is actually really nice. Good job to whoever did that way. Uh, and yeah, then it should come off. Also, I forgot the impact at home, so I got to do this by hand. Oh, yeah, they're tight. All right, get in the bar. And if you're thinking to yourself, you really should just be, you shouldn't be using a 3 8 ratchet on there and just use a half inch, you're correct, but. It still works. I lied to everybody. I forgot there's we gotta get these bolts too. I think we can get the one. Let's see, there's no no light there. Uh, but right up in here. There's another bolt on each side. I'm gonna take that out and then we should be good to go. Alright, take two. This time it should come off. So then next up is fenders on both sides, which means we got to pull out this battery. The tray below it has some bolts in it. The uh, coolant tank here. Um, this side over here, I think we got to do, get into the bottom of the fuse box because there's two bolts in it. Pull this battery out too. Um, then we got bolts along the top on each side, as well as one in the door jam here and one underneath. Nice. Oh, and one up here, one up front. So this guy's then loose, which you can just sit kind of wherever. Uh, battery. <laughs> well, it was loose. Now you've seen a lot of fenders being taken off recently between this other side, the other rebuild truck, the red truck. I know you've seen a ton, so you probably don't need to see this one. So I'm going to try the old finger snap trick that makes the whole thing disappear. Let's see if I can make it happen. All right. Well, honestly, I have no idea if that, you know, whole snap thing worked. Just want to try that. Pretty sure I moved the camera and so it probably turned out terrible. I apologize for that. But we got our whole fender off over on this side. This side is definitely more in depth than from the side over there. Cause this one, you gotta take the one off from here, which was already broken, so not a big deal. Um, there is four bolts in the um, fuse box. You got the two here, but to get the fuse box out, you gotta take off both sides of the brace that comes along here, plus your two back here, um, your battery tray. So you got two bolts that would go there. Uh, I think that's it. I am really thinking about painting this probably body color unless somebody has a better idea. Um, I really like that blue on the other truck in the video. Um, so, man, it just looked so sharp. So I think we gotta, I think we're gonna have to paint that too. I don't know. Should we go body color though? Because it's not gonna stand out. I wish we could paint this too. I wish this was body color rather than this is not my favorite color at all. Somebody else there want, out there wants to trade for this color, let me know. I would gladly trade you. Uh... But uh, yeah, this, the, the brown doesn't really work, at least for me anyways. I don't think it looks as good with the red. So, well, I think we're, we're going to wrap it up here. That is it for me here. Uh, next video should be more 
of the other the donor bags. Air compressors. Well, I'm just going to stop there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, share. Have a great day.